Be sure to hop on over to the Spiritual Broadcast Network. It's the go-to place for all things spiritual. You'll discover internet television shows that you won't find anywhere else. You can also choose from hundreds of hours of spiritual documentaries and movies. You'll enjoy on-demand and live internet television programming 24-7. Best of all, we add new dramas, comedies, talk, and reality shows and more on a daily basis. So why spend countless hours searching the web when you can quickly find just what you want on the Spiritual Broadcast Network? Wisdom Through Action is a contemporary, sea-influenced school teaching the work of personal inner development in the system brought to the Western world by G. I. Gurdjieff and P. D. Ospensky. Mr. Ospensky said, The most important ideas and principles of this system do not belong to me. This is chiefly what makes them valuable, because if they belonged to me, they would be like all other theories invented by ordinary minds. What he meant was that this system comes from higher mind, from conscious influence. It is an objective system to bring a man to awakening. Welcome to Wisdom Through Action. I'm your host, Kay Smith. With each of our shows, we are bringing the work of Gurdjieff and Ospensky to life in the electronic world, discussing lines of work and the cosmo cosmology of the system. Today's show is about a different line of work that we teach also here at Wisdom Through Action, Gurdjieff's Sacred Dances. Before we start, I'm going to read a passage from C.S. Knott's book, Teachings of Gurdjieff's, The Journal of a Pupil. The demonstration this evening will consist chiefly of various movements of the human body taken from the art of, ancient, of the ancient East. Examples of sacred gymnastics, sacred dances, and religious ceremonies preserved in certain temples in Turkestan, Tibet, Afghanistan, Kafristan, Chitral, and other places. Mr. Gurdjieff, with other members of the Seekers After Truth, carried out over many years in the Near and Far East, a series of investigations which prove that in the Orient, certain dances have not lost the deep significance, religious and scientific in the real sense, which they had in the remote past. Sacred dances and posture and movements in series have always been one of the vital subjects taught in esoteric schools in the East. They have a double aim to convey a certain kind of knowledge and to be a means for acquiring a harmonious state of being. The farthest limits of one's endurance are reached through the combination of non-natural and non-habitual movements and by performing, them in a new qual in, by performing them a new quality of sensing is obtained, a new quality of concentration and attention and a new direction of the mind all for a certain definite aim. Dancing still has quite a different meaning in the East from what we give it in the West. In ancient times, the dance was a branch of real art and served the purposes of higher knowledge and religion. A person who specialized in a subject communicated his knowledge through works of art, particularly dances, as we spread knowledge through books. Among the early Christians, dancing in churches was an important part of the ritual. The ancient sacred dance is not only a medium for an aesthetic experience, but a book, as it were, or script, containing a definite piece of knowledge. But it is a book which not everyone who would can read. A detailed study of sacred dances and special movements and postures over many years has proved their importance in the work of the harmonious development of man. The parallel development of all his powers is one of the principal aims of this work. Exercises in sacred gymnastics are used in this system as one of the means for educating the student's moral force, for developing his will, patience, capacity for thought, concentration, and attention hearing, sight, 
sense of touch, and so on. And now, Gurdjieff's Sacred Dances. The first of these is Prayer in Seven. It is a movement depicting invocation through physical expression. It is the recognition of the rightful role of man and, moreover, his prayer to something higher to be allowed to fulfill that potential through the practical reception and transmission of energies between heaven and earth. In the past, in the first three repetitions, the dancers and the audience breathe in unison. In the second three repetitions, the dancers and the audience breathe in opposition. In the final seventh repetition, the dancers and the audience hold the breath in an attempt to develop an inner element of concentration of attention. Also, this movement may be an expression of humility. Before beginning, the pianist and the dancers are stopping thoughts, dividing attention, and self-remembering in order to connect with something higher while performing the sacred dances. Thank you. 
alphabet, the first obligatory. This is a series of postures which, when accurately held, allow the flow of higher energies to move harmoniously through the organism. This depicts also the practical work of an individual man on himself through the control of his four functions, that is, his intellectual, emotional, instinctive, and moving functions. It represents balance. First March, the second obligatory. The initial active movement toward the fulfillment of the rightful role of man. Also, on the scale of an individual man, this movement may represent the intent and decision to perform what is necessary to ensure his own personal development. 
It may represent both aim and responsibility. March forward, the third obligatory, the beginning of the actualization of that role. This represents the practical application of objective knowledge. In school terms, this may represent being efforts, efforts to act as one wishes to become. Next, the fourth obligatory is called counting. It is an expression of discipline and sincerity and symbolizes the necessary preparation and organization of both the individual and the mass of the culture striving toward its goal. It includes within it an expansion of consciousness in that those performing it may become connected to a broader understanding. It may include in it change of scale.
note values is connected with and may be seen as an allegorical key. When the rhythm and the expression through the movement are properly synchronized, the key moves into the lock, turns, and the door opens. Note values is also an expression of gratitude and valuation. This proceeds from the recognition that the organism has been accepted by something higher and allowed the fulfillment of its rightful role only after many successful being efforts have been made. Mazurka, the expression of that role as practically demonstrated by an ancient agrarian civilization in which whole communities actively participated. This obligatory may be a more subtle one in that those performing their daily and seasonal tasks in relation to planting and harvesting did so with joy in simple things.
Hoya Dervish. Exploration, both in past developing civilizations and in the future, draws from experience. Understanding demands that while exploring new territories and dimensions, there must be included a need for caution and a protective defense in the event that it is required. This movement, Hoya Dervish, is an ancient warrior rite which is performed from dusk until dawn in preparation for battle. Some civilizations express themselves as warrior cultures and symbolize courage, which may be one of the noble characteristics of man. Thus, Hoya Dervish is the expression of a conscious role as demonstrated by an ancient warrior school through tests of courage, endurance, and strength of spirit, resulting in the unity of one body.
woman's waltz, the inner calling of the individual self for the actualization and fulfillment of its own potential, woman, that inward symbol of true positive emotion and the birth of a conscious soul.
In the next movement, called the Enneagram, energies may be seen as flowing through and connecting each civilization through time. Here, the psychological evolution of our species meets both a challenge and an opportunity. The challenge is one which humanity, in its ongoing process of evolution, readily accepts. It seems to be inherent in the nature of man. The distinctly human characteristic of recognizing and utilizing an opportunity brings the potential of another dimension and the exploration of it. The movement called the Enneagram may symbolize the emotion of awe. Thirty Gestures, the legacy left to us from remote antiquity by an ancient Egyptian civilization. 
Previously, I had mentioned a movement which may have come out of the temples of ancient Egypt, dating back several thousand years. It is called Thirty Gestures. Note carefully that initially it takes the shape of a triangle shaped and focused in one direction. Then through a process of transition, it changes direction. In the completion of the movement, it forms a symbol called the Seal of Solomon, which is also a religious emblem adapted by the ancient Hebrews and called the Star of David. Thirty gestures may be an expression of compassion and may also be seen as an aspect of a civilization in recorded history symbolizing the actual exodus of mankind out of bondage. The actualization of this event may be seen as an outflow of a selected few to humanity as a whole. The old and established doctrine conflicting with the contemporary idea of the one God.
slow second. An objective prayer given in three parts. The first referring to something higher. The second referring to real man. The third referring to the successful culmination of the obligation of man in relation to the greater need of something higher. It is the expression of inspiration and gratitude of the continuing benevolence of the Creator toward the created. Time, representation of a state in which man may realize that time flows backwards and forwards, constantly crossing the eternal now.
Wisdom Through Action is a contemporary, sea-influenced school teaching the work of personal inner development in the system brought to the Western world by G. I. Gurdjieff and P. D. Ospensky. Mr. Ospensky said, The most important ideas and principles of this system do not belong to me. This is chiefly what makes them valuable, because if they belonged to me, they would be like all other theories invented by ordinary minds. What he meant was that this system comes from higher mind, from conscious influence. It is an objective system to bring a man to awakening. Be sure to hop on over to the Spiritual Broadcast Network. It's the go-to place for all things spiritual. You'll discover internet television shows that you won't find anywhere else. You can also choose from hundreds of hours of spiritual documentaries and movies. You'll enjoy on-demand and live internet television programming 24-7. Best of all, we add new dramas, comedies, talk and reality shows and more on a daily basis. So why spend countless hours searching the web when you can quickly find just what you want on the Spiritual Broadcast Network?